George Paddock chasing Colin Richards in the Vauxhall Chevette. Into Paddock. It's Richards on the inside. Lundgren in second position. Down towards the S's they go. And it's still Richards leading. Down to the left-right kink. Richards in the Chevette on the inside. Then Lundgren. John Button in third position. And now the drag up to Druids, the right hand of the hairpin, as Colin Howard makes contact with the Mini in front. Up towards Druids, it's still Richards in the lead, round the right-hander. Out they come, then into the left-hander at Langley's Gap, and Lundgren has spun out, and up into second position has gone Arvid Rosenberg in the NSU Pioneer rear-engine car. Ten years old, but here is Richards bumping and bouncing his way across the ridgeway. Rosenberg now in second position. John Button is in third. Out of Hoppy's drop, rejoining the circuit onto the tarmac. Now into the chicane. And it's Colin Richards leading in the Vauxhall Chevette. That's car number 69, the managing director from South London. He takes the left. Richards leads. Behind him, Rosenberg going very well in this 10-year-old car. John Button right behind him, third position. Then it's Paul Eaton in fourth place. Nick Garner in fifth position, lap two. There's Button and Richards. Very smooth and steady. A lot of experience, Richards. 300 horsepower his car produces. It's still Rosenberg in second position. It's still John Button, who has been out of racing for three years in third place. And Paul Eaton spins out in the escort. Eaton spins out, and that puts Garner up into fourth position. And Knut Boberg, there he is in the VW Golf, goes up to fifth position ahead of Eaton. Round Druids into Langley's Gap again. And it's still Richards, it's still Rosenberg. But right behind him in third place, Garner in fourth position. So it's Vauxhall Chevette leading NSU, then a VW and then a Mini. And here is Richards. 34-year-old Colin Richards, 10 years' experience, three-litre Vauxhall Chevette. He's got all the power he needs to go through and win, but Rosenberg is hanging on beautifully. There is John Button, Nick Garner dropping back a bit in fourth position, and into the chicane again. It has been frosty this morning, but it's thawed out. It's much drier. John Button in third position there. Number 110 is closing up on Rosenberg in front of him in second position, and there is the leader. Going down to the S's again. Takes it nice and tight on the left. And so wide, he's hit it. John R Colin Richards has hit it, and Arvid Rosenberg goes through into the lead. Now, is John Button going to take second position? Richards accelerates away, but Button goes through on the inside. So now it's Rosenberg leading for Norway in the NSU from John Button back after three years and making it a real scrap for the lead. Colin Richards trying to regain that position, but he's got the bumpy drive across the ridgeway and not much chance of catching the two in front of him. So it is Arvind Rosenberg in the NSU Pioneer, 1600cc, and it produces about 140 brake horsepower, a quite incredible motor car. Rear engine, rear drive, ideal for today's conditions, and Rosenberg is certainly making the most of it as he goes into the chicane. For the last time, out, now up to the right-hander at Paddock. There's Colin Richards, he's gaining on Button in second position, but I don't think he can catch him. Meantime, Rosenberg well on his way. And there is the flying Richards, who has damaged the right front of his car, not surprisingly, and this is where he did it as Rosenberg goes through on the last lap, accelerates away up to Druids again. All the weight over the rear wheels, rear engine driving those rear wheels. Now he goes into Druids for the last time, then the cut across to the left at Langley's Gap, into the top street to finish and win in a time of 5 minutes 57 seconds. Arvid Rosenberg wins, Button second and Richard third.